How to use your bar joists in PractiCAD. Bar joists are parametric entities that are provided to you that can be modified and used from job to job. They work virtually identical to steel with the exception of some of the parameters are different and the hold points are different. So in the following tutorials we're going to show you how to utilize those parameters and those hold points. Here what we've got is we've selected a bar joist from our architectural bin. And what we've got is the window open for the item box and the elevation box. Notice that when I grab the bar joist, the bar tab is automatically depressed in the item box. Here we've got a bar joist on the right. We're looking at it in front view, and we're going to go over the parameters. You can see here that we have a top cord length. The top cord length is actually the distance from this edge of the bar joist to this edge. And the bottom cord length, of course, is the distance from the bottom corner here to the other bottom corner. Now what chord delta is, is the difference between the two. Here you can see that as I change chord delta, it's actually going to modify the difference between the top chord and the bottom chord. If you subtract these two numbers, you're going to get the chord delta. In other words, if we measure the distance from this portion of the bar joist, from the top of it, it's upside down at the moment, to the bottom of it, and then we added the distance from these two on both sides, that would give us the chord delta. There's 118 inches. If we divided that in two, we had half of that distance between this point here and this point, and then we'd have it on the other side. So the chord delta is simply the top chord length minus the bottom chord length. We've got bearing length. That just adjusts the size of the bearings. I'm just rolling with the wheel mouse to make them larger or smaller. You've got joist width. That is actually the width of the joist. You cannot see it in this view. We'll change it in a second. Joist depth, you can see that's simply going to be the depth of the joist itself. You'll notice that the webbing is going to automatically adjust based on formulas that were inputted into this parametric bar joist. If the bar joist you're using will not suit your needs, please call Metal Lab in order to get another one added for you. And last we have seat depth. Seat depth is simply going to control the depth of the seat. You can see as we make it larger and smaller, it's going to adjust the depth. And as always, we have the location and special instruction parameters.